The following video shows the steps that we take to process a crankshaft for thermal spray welding and repair. Number one, we check the shaft for straightness and straighten if needed. We then measure to determine how much material will need to be added to repair the damaged journal. Next, the shaft is placed into a jet wash cabinet with chemicals at 200 degrees. Next, the shaft is steamed and rinsed with water and an anti-rust agent to remove the degreasing chemicals. Then the shaft is mounted into the Magnaflux machine. It is then rinsed with a chemical and checked with a special light that will expose any cracks in the shaft. Next, the shaft is placed into the crankshaft grinder and ground undersized to make the journal round and enough material is taken off the journal for the welding process to build back up for grinding. The shaft is then steam cleaned again to remove grinding solution and any debris left on the shaft from the grinding. Then the shaft goes into special blasting machine and is blasted with aluminum oxide pellets to remove any impurities on the journal to be welded. The shaft is then coated with a special paint that keeps the overspray from the welding process from bonding to the parts of the shaft that you don't want any buildups of the weld on. At this time, we install carbon plugs into all of the oil galley holes that will be removed later to keep the welding process from closing these oil galleys. The thermal spray process has two special wires that feed into the gun and is melted and propelled by 80 to 100 pounds of air pressure onto the shaft for bonding. As you can see, the shaft does not get distorted from excessive heat and material is added until the desired thickness has been reached. This thermal spray weld process can be used on many different materials to correct wear. The shaft is then set up in the crankshaft grinder to be ground back to the original size and tolerances needed. Next. It is placed into a lathe and polished to a micro finish for final use. The final step is to spray it with an anti-rust agent and it is tagged with sizes and placed into the plastic bag. 